So yeah, Kim, you, you've had, you've had, you know, um, as, as many of us have, you've had some, some traumatic experiences in your past um, and your, your journey to, to your uh, current business uh, has been complex as a result. And so are you um, kind of holding yourself back from sharing some of those traumatic experiences? Is that what it is? Yeah, well, how I came to my resilience or how resilience came into my life and how it's been um, a part of my life since day one. So there's so much I could talk about. Yeah. Um, but um, so I just don't even know where to begin. Uh, I have mm -hmm. my marketing coach have been working on a story, but it's just not coming out and it doesn't feel very authentic to me. Why not? Why not? Uh, because she wants me to be a little more superficial. Uh, can you give me an example of superficial versus something that would feel more authentic to you? Well, she wants me to talk about how she, all the things I've done in my life to kind of build my resilience. Yeah. And so how all the skills and tools that I've gathered in my life are, um, because I'm like a, a Renaissance woman, I'm a, a deep learner, mm -hmm. but there's really nothing in there about personally about how I came to my resilience. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, um, because there's no, there's not, not the important details. Yeah, and so it's not right. like a story right. I can tell. Right. It's just right. like, I'm just reciting while I do this and I learned about that. And when I was a midwife and blah, you, you know. Yeah. So it just feels like more like a resume than a story uh, that doesn't connect. Okay. Yeah. So um, where would the story be posted? Like on your about page? Are you talking about your about page on your website? Well, the about page. And then when I introduce myself, you know, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, because it's very common for people to share how they came to doing what they. So essentially you're, you're essentially you are, um, the, 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 the question here is how do you write your bio in an authentic okay. way? Would that yeah. be correct? So because well, essentially there are several versions of your bio. Your mm -hmm. bio has several versions. Um, so for example, if you go to my media kit, which is georgecow.com slash media dash kit, uh, you'll see that my bio has a short version, medium version, and a long version. And then the, the longest version is actually on my on my about page. My about page is the longest version of my bio, you know, uh, which is like basically what I define as something important and how I came how I came to this uh, experience. You know, my experience, you know, kind of going from transformation, my spiritual transformation, etc. Now, some of you might not think this is as authentic as I could be, but whatever. You know, I'm, I'm okay with it for now. But essentially, Kim, if correct me if I'm wrong, you're trying to come up with different versions of your bio. You're trying to come up with a long version, which is what you can share on an interview mm -hmm. that might be half an hour long. Mm -hmm. Would that be correct? Like you're, you're trying to figure out how to tell your story in half an hour or 15 minutes or five minutes or three or, minutes? Yes. And also, you know, when I do my start my online courses, I want to be able to talk about how important my um, my my experiences were and how that connects with other people because so many people have so many i mean resilience is a huge factor in our in our life and yeah. in recovery mm -hmm. and right so so that's fine so uh you've just summarized it i mean couldn't you go into it then mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay you see what I mean? Like, I'm not clear what's holding you back from actually saying that or just kind of going into the story. What's holding you back from that? What's holding me back from that? Um, I get emotional. Okay. 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 And uh, uh, so there's um, emotional charge. Now, the, which is not a bad thing. It's authentic. Of course, you'd get emotional because it's it was been such an important experience for you. Now, the truth also, <laughs> the more you tell it, the less emotionally charged it will be. So it's also a matter of practice. Great. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. 
that that's great. Thanks. I just kind of needed to hear that. Yeah. Uh, because other people are telling me to not use the emotions. So. Oh yeah, no, absolutely use the emotions. That's the, those are the best speeches. Those are the best stories. The best writings have rich emo are rich in emotion. Uh, the best movies. Right? I mean, who wants to watch a, a video that has no emotion? I mean, unless it's a technical tutorial or something like that. But it's not that in this case. So. Okay. Thank. Yeah, that that really helps. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for sharing. I want to thank uh, the chats here in support of Kim from Juliet and Judy. Uh, thank you so much. I'll put the chats in the in the segment of the video in the comments below this video as well. So thank you so much.